Hey guys, what is up? It is Gaming Actar Sal here, and welcome to my St. Patrick's Day tournament uh, playthrough. Basically, this is to see how I did in the St. Patrick's Day tournament. So, this is the team I pulled up here. We got Robbie Keane, McGeady, Stephen Island, McCarthy, Coleman, O'Shea, and Shea given in net. They're the main ones, and basically, this is the first opponent I came up against. Uh, rating 70, he's got informed Stephen Island, uh, Robbie Keane. Uh, Darren Gibson, Aidan McGeady, John O'Shea, Shea given some very good uh, silver rare players there as well. 91 pace and left mid for him there. So this was going to be a tough challenge straight away. But we had Steven Island, takes a shot, comes back in and Steven Island, oh, it was a lovely effort, it really was. And then Robbie Keane gets a head in and again and again and persistence pays off. Aidan McGeady gets the goal, first goal of the tournament. And then eventually he, he kept persisting and he got the goal to make it 1-1. So a very interesting start to the game. But then Robbie Keane whips a ball in and how about that for the finish from Aidan McGeady. Wow, lovely celebration as well. And then we chip a ball in and I have no idea how McGeady's not scored that. No idea. Uh, Murray then takes a shot and I had to show that because that was one hell of a shot. And then Steven Allen whips a ball in and McCarthy open space and he's got to shoot and score from there as well lovely goal makes it 3-1 but then he rips the ball in and my defense just fell asleep and he takes advantage of it with Darren Gibson but then Robbie Keane takes the shot in open space and he scores and what about that for the finish 4-2 at half time 16 shots to 3 I'm absolutely dominating him and then in the second half we take the lead straight away 49th minute James McLean with the header And that was the game. <laughs> GG 15 to 2 was the final score. Um, and then we came up against our next opponent, a very, very decent opponent indeed. And straight away we get into it, and he took the lead within two minutes. The worst possible start. Um, but yeah, I wanted to come straight back. And it's a lovely ball from McCarthy. Robbie Keane, how about that for a finish from Robbie Keane? He's been stupendous so far for me. Um, and then we get a whip ball in and James McLean on the end of that with the header. He's got a very good heading, I have to say. Nice celebration there from him as well. But then he whips the ball in and we know how OP crosses are. And White yet again gets on the end of it. Uh, but then I had to sweat to get the lead. Robbie Keane yet again scores for me. He's been absolutely emphatic for me. And then we got James McLean coming on the end of a cross. And he takes full advantage of that. And then Murray whips the ball in and how about that for a finish, Robbie Keane yet again, I'm just going to end up saying his name so many times, Robbie Keane again, almost identical to the previous goal and that's the 85th minute and that was GG to be honest, but then we sweat it and then Robbie Keane gets his hat trick to make it 7-2 uh, and that was officially GG. 7-2, 18 shots to 5, 15 shots on target on my behalf so I should have scored much more but nevertheless that was GG. And uh, this was the opponent we came up with next, um, Robbie Keane and Aidan McGeady in strike, which is an interesting choice. I wanted to see how we did. We got Damien Duff in right mid then to replace him, but nevertheless, we got straight into this game and um, it's a lovely ball straight away to James McLean. How about that for a finish? Emphatic as you like. Six minutes in. What about that for a start? And to be honest, there was nothing else to show in that first half. Seven shots on my behalf. Um, but yeah, there wasn't much else to show in that half, so we went into the second half with a 1 0 lead. We get a ball in from a corner, and how about that? It's a lovely, lovely leap from yet again, Robbie Keane. And then we get another ball in here, and guess who it is? Yet again, Robbie Keane. This guy's absolutely stupendous, and that makes it 3 0, and that was GG. Uh, but how about this? This has to be the highlight of the tournament. Robbie Keane, how about that for a goal? 
just I had to show this quite a few times because this was just amazing. Whips it in and keeper, keeper's just uh, lost. He doesn't have a clue what the hell to do over here. But how about that? That was one hell of a good goal. Goal of the tournament for myself, uh, and that was the game four nil. It ended and twelve shots on my behalf to his three. He didn't have a single shot on target, so yeah, I dominated that game and into the final. And this was the team we came up against. I wasn't happy about the fact he had attribute cards on his strikers. It's a bit unfair, but he didn't have the best team. Um, we got a ball in here, and James uh, Aidan McGeady rather hits the post. I have no idea how he's not got that in. And then guess what he does with his pacey winger, whips the ball in and sweats. There really is no way to defend against a sweaty goal. I'd, I don't know about it. If you guys know, let me know because yet again, this pacey guy tries to sweat it. My keeper, I don't know what the referee is wearing. I don't know what that's about, but he's a mad guy. But yeah, the keeper brings him down and it's a penalty. Apparently, I don't know if this is a penalty because he does take him down, but he hasn't got the ball. So I'm not too sure about that one. Um, but nevertheless, he gets the penalty and he takes full advantage of the penalty and makes it 1-0 to him in the 45th minute of the game. Oh, rather 2-0. And yeah, 2-0. Yeah, I've lost the plot. 2-0 uh, and we had to pull one hell of a good comeback off for to get this championship win. And guess what he does? He sweats it. Goes to the byline and sweats it. And gets another goal. There really is no way to defend against a sweaty goal. 